A cordial greeting. Today is Wednesday, August 28, 2024. This is meteorologist Ruben Garcia. In today's video, I will be providing an update related to a disturbance we are monitoring in the tropical Atlantic region, which has a low probability of development as it moves westward over the next seven days. This video is of particular interest to the eastern Caribbean region. Although, for now, the disturbance is not expected to organize quickly as it moves through the Caribbean, it could still bring rain events and some gusty winds by the middle and end of next week. On the other hand, I will also be talking about a strong tropical wave. We'll be moving off the coast of Africa in the coming days, and will soon be marked by the National Hurricane Center with a probability of cyclonic development as it moves through the tropical Atlantic. This represents a change from what we've seen in recent weeks, especially since the intertropical convergence zone looks more active compared to what we had in recent weeks. Since we are approaching the peak of the season on September 10th, we need to stay alert to any disturbances coming from Africa or related to the intertropical convergence zone. In the satellite image, we can see a slight rotation associated with a tropical wave and the disturbance we are monitoring. However, when we look at the infrared satellite animation, you can see that it currently lacks significant thunderstorm activity near the center of circulation, so this disturbance is not yet showing signs of development. Also, notice how impressive the next tropical wave looks, which definitely should have better chances of development compared to the first disturbance we are monitoring. As this tropical wave continues its westward path, it will be moving over warmer sea surface temperatures, which could help generate thunderstorms near the wave's axis. And although there is some Saharan dust in the region, concentrations remain relatively low, which should not be a major impediment to its development. However, conditions will only be marginally favorable for development. Wind shear that could impact this disturbance from the north-northwest as it approaches the Lesser Antilles, particularly between Monday and Wednesday of next week. This wind shear could also cause some dry air to enter the wave axis, thus slightly hindering its chances of development. Despite this, conditions in this region of the Atlantic seem to be marginally favorable for development, although today's global models do not see significant cyclonic development. But remember that global models sometimes struggle to assimilate disturbances associated with the intertropical convergence zone, and I believe this is why the National Hurricane Center maintains a 20% chance of development as it moves westward or west-northwestward. Also, note that some members of the American model forecast the development of a tropical depression or tropical storm, although we are talking about approximately 5% of the GFS model members, which is a significant reduction in the chances of development compared to the past few days. On the other hand, we have the European model ensemble, where 30% to 40% of the members develop a tropical depression as this tropical wave moves through the northeastern Caribbean region. Therefore, it is important for the Dominican Republic, Puerto Rico, and the Lesser Antilles to remain vigilant regarding the evolution of this tropical wave. Regarding the global model projections, note that the GFS model in its latest run does not develop this tropical wave, while it has a tropical depression developing by the middle of next week just southwest of the Cape Verde Islands. Similarly, the European model does not develop a tropical cyclone in the disturbance we are monitoring in the Central Atlantic, although the latest run shows a strong tropical wave moving through the Caribbean region, which could bring heavy rains and some gusty winds by the middle of next week. Additionally, it shows a low-pressure system developing associated with that next tropical wave, which definitely has good chances of development in the long term. The outlook is very similar in the UK model runs, showing a strong tropical wave moving through the eastern Caribbean by the middle of next week, and developing a tropical depression associated with the tropical wave currently moving off the coast of Africa. Likewise, the German model has a strong tropical wave moving through the Caribbean, and developing a tropical storm associated with the tropical wave that is about to move off Africa. In fact, there is strong support among the GFS model members, with most of them developing a tropical cyclone associated with a tropical wave that is about to move off Africa. This is why I suspect that the National Hurricane Center will soon mark this area with a probability of cyclonic development, especially since all the members of the European model ensemble develop a tropical cyclone. Fortunately, note that the trend is that it will likely maintain a west-northwestward trajectory, moving away from the Caribbean region. However, this is a forecast with high uncertainty, because it will be several days before a cyclone develops in this area. Regarding the first disturbance we are monitoring, remember that it should be reaching the Lesser Antilles and the Eastern Caribbean by the middle and end of next week, and it is very likely that it will at least bring a rain event to the Lesser Antilles, with between 100 to 150 millimeters of rainfall for Puerto Rico and the Dominican Republic. So during the next weekend, we will be watching to see how the accumulated rainfall projections evolve for the middle of next week. Similarly, if it moves through the region as a strong tropical wave, it is possible that some wind gusts between 25 to 35 miles per hour could affect the northern half of the Lesser Antilles and possibly Puerto Rico between Tuesday and Thursday of next week. 
Well, that's all for this forecast update. Let's stay alert to this disturbance in case there are changes in the projections. For now, we shouldn't worry. What we anticipate is a strong tropical wave moving through the eastern Caribbean. But since conditions are marginally favorable for development and we are near the peak of the season, it is important not to let our guard down and continue monitoring its progress. Here at Hurricane Info, I will continue recording videos to keep you informed. To ensure you don't miss any of the videos, check if you're subscribed to my channel. Go to the bottom of the video, click the red button that says subscribe, and then click the bell so that you receive notifications when I record new videos. Well, with that, I say goodbye. See you tomorrow.